I see the message. These niggas ain't nothing, bro. I he see was, the message. He was talking his talk because a lot of y'all, man, y'all get caught up in the bullshit. Damn. Y'all switch up Damn. on your homies that you Ooh, grew up oh, with. Is that Damn. how we gonna start the call? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> he been shooting for the past couple of pods. Nah, I was I was on the way to the studio <clears throat> and I just remembered the remembered the song, so I started jamming it. And it this song came out like nine years ago. And right. it still rings true today. Like a lot of people switch up on you. A lot of people. Yeah, I mean that's just what it is. You yeah, know, yeah, a lot of people. Right. You know, what I'm saying don't want to. You know, embrace. You know, the brotherhood that you. You know, you cultivated, and they just they they be bullshitting, man. Yeah, but I mean, is that is that something you get mad at? Because no, you don't get I think mad it's just at something it. that's just natural. Niggas just don't know, man. Just niggas don't know, man. It's okay. I think, I think people supposed to be like that. Because yeah. you, 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 you have now, everybody like can't be, you know, on the up and up, you know. Yeah. There are, you know, it's it's not it's weird. Up. It's weird because it's it's a part of life. Not everybody yeah. is supposed to be, you know, um, loyal to you. Facts. Even though you, you may think they should, but Facts. it's not the case, man. It's not the case, man. Hey, hey, you know, it's just one of the things where, you know, people have their seasons. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes. For sure. Friendships are seasonal. And yeah. it's not necessarily a Even bad thing. relationships. Yeah. <clears throat> relationships. No, especially relationships. Mm-hmm. <laughs> relationships are number one. <laughs> yeah. Relationships. Because yeah. you, you learn a lot from, and you, you have, when you get older, you you start to appreciate certain mm. uh, people more mm-hmm. and you stop getting mad about what yeah. happened. You're mm-hmm. like, man, you actually taught me to watch mm-hmm. my back. You actually taught me to mm-hmm. protect my heart. Facts. More instead of just being so freely to just give it out to everybody. Facts. You know, we got to protect our heart, man. It's, it's important that you protect your heart um, as loving as you can be mm-hmm. and everybody want to be. Sometimes people aren't deserving. I mean, you can love them from a distance. I'll just yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah, people aren't sure. deserving of that close encounter. But hey, we started off kind of real. Yeah, uh, man. Episode 96. 96. Uh-oh, we almost at that. Almost at that. Uh, yes. Hundo. Oh, hundo, man. How y'all been enjoying the, the weather? It's been nice. It's I. It's I mean, the rain can give me you know deceased, but other than that, I'm not killed. <laughs> I mean, I don't. We need it. <laughs> I don't. I mean, we do need it because the summer was very dry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I, I guess it's that rain. And yeah, the cold. rain and kind of cold, kind of like brings in more sickness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it was just cold, it would kind of be cool <laughs> because it's the yeah. holiday time. But if it the rain is like, damn, yeah. we've been having days of rain. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving. Ain't gonna oh, my God. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just want some pecan pie. I've been saying that for quite <laughs> yeah. some time now. You have. You've been um, trying to find restaurants to sell yeah. it. Yeah. And I just say, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to just get it for Thanksgiving. I might yeah. just give me a whole one to myself just to kind of, <laughs> you know, people be, you know. You get that patty? <laughs> patty, uh, she she do more than sweet potato, right? I only one I've seen is sweet potato. Yeah. Oh, oh for real? I, th- yeah. I don't know. I think she do do. Pecan, I don't know. I'm, I don't remember. Correct us right if we're wrong, uh, you know. But I, I only see I know the, the one at the store is, is the sweet potato pie. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely getting that. But yeah, figure out where. Um, I think House of Pies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you, my dad knows the owner over there, so. Oh yeah, he not. usually gets a, um mm-hmm. a good selection of pies. So probably try to hook that up. But yeah, nah. Uh, how's your weekend? It's been good, man. Can't it was complain. really good, actually. We had a long weekend, so mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. uh, Isaiah had a, a football game. He went. He made it to the second round of the playoffs. Yeah, um, you know, it was a real. The game was very, very what you want to call it. Um, Suspect <sighs> cheating. I don't. I didn't want to say that, you no, know, this because is, this is, 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 these are this, kids. Damn all that. This is. It's not the kids though. It's the adults. <laughs> it's the adults. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If, if you gonna be be fair, that's my thing, fam. Like. I don't mind my kid losing at something so that way they can build character. Of course. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just like Mariah did when she didn't win a medal uh, out in Oregon. Like, mm-hmm. she, she, it, it, that character was built. And like when she was done, she was like, Dad, I'm coming back here mm-hmm. by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, because she's seen I'm, how I'm it felt it. To, to taste it and to yeah. be right there. So, for him, it's the same thing. Like, all of them. Like, you're not going to win everything in life. So, but I want it to be fair. Mm-hmm. And if, if the officials, if they're not officiating fair and if the coaches on the other team aren't being fair, then, then you're cheating the kids, even your own kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Play fair, be fair. They had kids out there, damn near my size, <laughs> in the wrong positions. No, and for stuff. real, like, like, nah, for real, like, and it's cool. The like, dude was. Look, I seen my son big. lining up against a, a boy, and I was just like, my post son. <laughs> I was just like, oh, bless his heart, be stronger. 
And, you know, but I was motivating him. I said, son, they bigger than you, but they not stronger than you. Yeah, he was. And he was just like, yeah. Okay. He kept doing that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it was but two he, times he was side. holding them, though. He was no, he was holding them. his own. You know, they was big, but they wasn't like, yeah. had, they had that crazy athleticism. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me. All in all, be fair. Be yeah. fair to these kids. So. <laughs> They are going to the Super Bowl. So hey, I'm, I'm, yes, um, sir. Yeah, I cannot wait. They're going I'm, I'm to the lit. Super Bowl. Yeah, so it's, it's been a, in his birthday party and all that. So, you know, parenting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, parenting. A lot. Trying to parent a lot of parenting this, this weekend. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that. So I've been out of the, the 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 social media way. What I will say, shout out to the Texans for beating the Bengals. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Um, that was a really good game. We were not the favorites in winning that game. But, you know, CJ Stroud and the... And the rest of the team, he, you know, CJ Clutch Stroud. That's and, what he is. Bro. Yeah, he's definitely clutch, bro. He he he. You could tell he wanted. Mm-hmm. And even mm-hmm. when his his post conference, uh, his interview, mm-hmm. saying, you know, I, I gave up the ball a couple of times, but I'm thankful for the defense. So you know, yeah. he acknowledging his mistakes and yeah. what he got to work on to be better. Bro, we got us <clears throat> love one. It. We got us one, man. I'm super proud, bro. I super am. proud. And we're uh, one game behind uh, Jacksonville to be uh, the um, the AFC South uh, divisional leader. Okay. So if we can That's keep winning look. out, That's and then look. I think we play Jacksonville in a couple weeks, we beat <clears> them, <throat> we can potentially be the number one uh, seed in the AFC South. Granted, I know you know that's not much to say, but hey, yeah. being that puts us in a position to go to the playoffs, better yeah. than what people projected us to do. For sure, like we we kind of killed expectations. Oh, we on what it, our season was going to be because I, I know there's a lot of people like, oh, y'all only going to win one game, two games at most. And I was like, all right, hey, just gonna hate, of course. But I, I'm liking what the team is doing and the mm-hmm. fact that he's bringing that that winning culture. You know, him energy, and D'Amico Ryans and just the organization, oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. what they've been doing as a whole, they bringing that winning culture back to to the football in yeah. in, in Houston. And surprisingly, the Rockets like won six in a row. Six yeah, three, yeah. I'm, yeah, like it's that. it's like it's a, it's a dope the, time. To it's be our a, year uh, this year. Like it's time for us to show ourselves. I just feel it. I feel yeah, because like the last couple years we've been the down dogs. You know, everybody been talking down on mm-hmm. us, telling us that we ain't gonna make it. We not gonna do it. We sorry. A lot of even even players, some of they would never come to our team, you know, which is cool. You know, yeah, that's cool. y'all stay where y'all at. Keep yeah, the same so energy. You know, we get our championship, and you know, y'all them, looking them back trying to come to our team. Yeah, yeah no, stay yeah, where yeah. you at. Please. Stay, stay there, please. Like, <laughs> you extra full. taxes. Yeah, for sure. Some mm-hmm. some people got to pay crazy taxes on top yeah. of the normal tax. But anyway, um, yeah, nah, like I'm loving it. Astros do, been doing their thing consistently. Uh, they've been holding us down. Um, so for the Rockets to to keep up to start showing some light. And the Texans as well is dope. I, I, know, I can't yeah. wait to see yeah. uh, what the next couple of years is going to be. Yeah, for sure. Man. We may <clears> one day be <throat> able to say we can see the Texans go to the Super Bowl one day. Yeah. In our lifetime. That's all I need. I'm, I'm good then. I'm, that would be lit. Yeah, yeah. that would be live. That would be awesome to be able to see that. So we'll see how things keep going. But other than that, man, weekend's been pretty cool. Pretty chill. Can't complain, man. No shucking and driving? No, yeah, actually, no shucking and driving. I actually kind of chilled this weekend. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ain't really do too much because it's been raining and stuff like that. So I've been outside. No, you don't of- like to drive in the rain. <laughs> Nah, bro, I'm good, man. He All do right. not like to move his car with his race. Is that well? That's one of the reasons. That's why I can't wait to, you know, move from where I'm at so I can give me a garage garage so I can mm. put my baby in there so she can be. So you don't like to drive in the rain. That's what it is. I mean, shit. It, I, I don't like driving in the rain either, so I'm not even mad at him. I just like going where I need to go. I mean, I'll go where I need to go, but if I y'all, don't have to I go. I don't get with y'all on right now because <laughs> if it's something I got to do. I mean, if you got to do, do it, it yeah. then you're going to do it. Yeah. But it's if it's like a, if you have to go outside the rain. I mean, yeah. I'll choose not to go, but Hello. Like, okay, I have something part. to do, though. Okay, okay. But if I didn't have nothing to do, then I wouldn't go. <laughs> you still would. You probably would cancel even though you got something to do. <laughs> no, I wouldn't go. Uh, mm <laughs> I could have went out multiple times this weekend. I was chilling. Well, I, not out I, like that. Like, so you don't ever have to do that part. That's yeah, true. I don't but, even get people who go out to the club when it's raining. Yeah, when it's raining. Like, what, what do it's you do? What is serious. the fun in that? It's never that serious. Tell mm-hmm. me, because you, I'm sure you've been out. I've been done it before. Raining. Yeah. So what if I was doing? already out I and mean, I was close to the place, but yeah, I've done it before. But it, me personally, it's just like if. It depends on the situation. If it depends on like if it's like a holiday or something like that, people will still go out. Like we, I've seen that. Got to get festive real quick. Never like mind. like uh, I believe uh, I think I told you this. Yeah, Keisha Cole's supposed to be coming down here for concert mm-hmm. uh, the day before Thanksgiving. You know, 
everybody's going to be there. Yeah. Oh, everybody's going to be there. It's the, yeah. you know, people are already off. So they kind of <clears> playing <throat> that stuff. And even if it's raining, mm-hmm. it's still going to be packed. Crazy how many times he reminded me of that one, though. <laughs> but I'm not going to go back into that one. We don't have to go back there. But Look I haven't heard about Keys Code quite a few times. You've only heard it twice. Well, Maya, I've only heard it once. <laughs> But hey, we're hey, not gonna go. We don't I'm have just to revisit. Saying, if, oh, oh, what? Mine's gonna be this shit. Let's let are you you mm. trying to roll? Let's yeah. let's get it going. You've been Keisha calling me to death. I didn't get that conversation. Keisha, Keisha, Keisha. I didn't get that conversation, man. My he, my coming. Nah, I, I, definitely, burn. I definitely said yeah. it. Right, Y'all are we, funny. We, we, we're past <laughs> that. That's but yeah, nah. Um, that. I, I get I get when you already out. But like mm-hmm. for people that be getting full haul as hauling to the club when it's like. Pouring down, raining, and yeah. it's flooding through your, you know, that little yeah. bump before you get on the street yeah. from your apartment. It's not, yeah, it's not nah. going for me. Yeah, it's like, come on, bro, I'm going to stay if home. If I look out the window, I'm like, bro, I'm not going. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm not coming. I'm at that age now where, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. The weather will dictate like I'm just, the yes or no. Even even if it take too long. Yeah. Yeah. Like I get, I'm like, nah, I'm good. We if, it, get, if it start getting, and it's getting dark early too now. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I don't daylight like saving. I, I still don't like that. I get why they, they do it time wise. I still don't get it. I thought I they said they were going to stop doing I, it. I yeah. thought they were going to do that too. That's yeah. what I heard as well. I don't know if, yeah, I could have sworn they were going to stop doing that. But shoot, that mug showed. We got we got an extra hour um, when it went back, which is when I was expecting people to go out mm-hmm. because you, mm-hmm. you get that extra that hour. Yeah, but, yeah, 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 man. But. Nah, mm-mm. when it comes to the the weather, <clears throat> especially when it's raining, I'm like, ah, I'll stay in, man. I'm cool. Yeah. I'm good on that. No, yeah. I feel like I yeah. feel that too. Yeah, the rain is just definitely a down a W downer. But it's a perfect day to sit up, watch a show. Yeah, watch you movie. know, FaceTime watch a movie. movie with your girl. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know Ross be doing that. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> You've never done that? No. It's a because it's a dope feature yeah. now where you can yeah, I know. actually I know the share your screen. Mm-hmm. You know, I ain't never done that. You've never done it. No. Never watched SpongeBob with nobody. No, not over no FaceTime. Nothing like okay, that. Okay. Over regular phone then? <laughs> no, in person. <laughs> I'm not about to Yeah. Nah, I I'm, I'm it, i get it if you you know, gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah. it, for me personally, I don't know, as I've gotten older. <clears throat> I am more busy. I don't even really like being like on the phone too, too much, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm I'm usually doing something. So, you know, it, it depends on like maybe I'm about to lay down or I, I just get in, you know, FaceTime, you know, be on the phone then. But outside of that, I don't really be doing like the whole hours. I don't even like doing the, hey, let's fall asleep on FaceTime or whatever. Yeah, I'm I like, think nah, you're too old for that. Bro. I'm like, good. Yeah, that's a little bit much. I'm like, oh, you I'm, way too I'm old. good on that, bro. you way too old for like, that. Alright, I'm about like, to go, go to sleep. sleep. Like, bye. Well, you can't. You can't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm tired. Like, girl, we are not 18. Right? Nisha used to do that. I did, but we were how old, though? Yeah, we was young. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't see myself at 31. Hell no. Nah. Like, your oh, overgrown ass sleeping on the phone. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> Even like, your friends come into your house and like, because some people used to like, back in the day used to be a thing where like, we used to fall asleep <clears> on FaceTime together or we used to be on Uvu. This this is how far back yeah. we go. We used to be on Uvu. Uvu, or, shout fall out to Uvu. On Uvu. And hey, it was Uvu like, used to be lit. It did. But then it was like, you know, your parents and somebody walking in your room here and snoring on the, on the yeah. computer screen at 31, mm-hmm. like, shit don't look good. Like, well, just personally, I don't think your parents should be walking in. Yeah, that too. <laughs> hey, I mean, you could be surprised how many times people are. still. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. no, I'm no, no. I'm not not even just living with them, but yeah, 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 yeah. privacy. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. be walking in my room yeah. if I'm still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we live together. Yeah, no, nah, I get. Should I be get. knocking. You should be. You know, you shouldn't be invading privacy at 31. If they own that house. <laughs> it don't matter. And that's why I had to leave. Exactly. That's why I had Facts. Because my, my kids, if my parents, if my kids are living with me at 31. They are renting a room. They don't. This is not their I house. I don't believe in that. I do. Well, hey, whatever oh. folks, your boat. Oh. You know what I mean? I feel like, because I feel like even, you know, I can only speak for our community because uh-huh. I'm in the, our community. I would never kick my kids out. But I think I our community that. do that a lot. Like, they'd be like, oh, when you turn 18. Yeah, I'm not doing that. It's like. I don't believe in that either. Why do you yeah. want to keep, like, make it to where they're prepared to go out? Because look how we came into the world. We just went out and got our own place and all that stuff. We, we really weren't ready financially. So it was like Who? people, oh. pe- life, like people, the, mm-hmm. and not just us, yeah. anybody, you know? Some people were forced into that situation. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then man. when they were forced into that situation, it was like they had to kind of fend for themselves. And I feel yeah. like that's not right because I want my kids to be well prepared yeah. mm-hmm. financially and mentally to go live on their own. <laughs> Don't mess my credit up and then go tell yeah. me you gotta leave. Hello. Yeah. 
Got that's what most of these cars in my name. Hello. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> I got your car in my name. You don't go find somewhere to stay because you can't stay here. Girl, yeah. all my this is mine, <laughs> basically. Yeah, no. Nah. All give your my, debt is my debt. Give me my this- card in. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it be like that though. Like I'm call you, not them. <clears throat> I hear that far too often. Like people just in family too. Like they, mm-hmm. oh yeah, when you turn 18, you gotta go. You, you, it's like, you know, yeah. like just let them be, you know. Even that, even talking like that in their ears, like negative energy, yeah. like prepare them, you know, like have them where they sit and confident to leave out on their own. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Be it should be a moment. You know, hopefully if they do go to college, if that's something that they do, um, that dorm life, if they do choose to go there or if mm-hmm. they go out of state, you know, they kind of get accustomed with it when they start going to college. And then after that, you know, just be there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, same. <clears throat> I think a big part of parenting um in older age, even though we're not there yet, but from what I could tell just with my mom, it's just being there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't really control what you do. Because think about it. When you turn a certain age, you can't get no whooping no more. Yeah, it's sure just can. like, Your mom can't put like, your, can her hands stop? on you, no matter how many tattoos you got and how many times you <laughs> pierced your own ears. Like, it's, it's just one of them things the where... Stories, huh? <laughs> it's one of them things where you can't do nothing to them. Like, it's, it's on them. So you just kind of got to be I didn't there. even catch that. T- <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. Oh, wow. My God. Pierces on here. Oh, like, damn. That's, it's, it's not wild. I mean, it's, it's really wild. smart. You save money. I did so. smart because I had very to take, unsanitized. Sanitary. Oh, well, I, I did it safely. I looked on YouTube, had the proper <clears throat> sanitization, and I knew how to know my ear. Boop. That video is probably blocked, and they probably got a strike by now. I don't know, Teach but it around. worked for me, man. I did it, and look, no infection. Hey, I mean, hey, you fought through it. It didn't kill you. Yeah, makes you stronger. You know what I'm saying? He danced it out of them. Danced it. Nah, man. (laughs) Danced them germs. I knew how to keep... I had the the cleaning solution. It's all about making sure... I mean, mean, the people that you go to, they pretty much doing the same thing. But I just feel comfortable with somebody, you know... Oh, that's pierced multiple ears, that's doing Mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah. It really just depends on your, like I said, the cleaning technique. I went to Walmart. For real? Mm Mm-hmm. I didn't even know they did uh, yeah. uh, did ear piercing. Yeah. Well, my mom wouldn't. She wouldn't about the tea and care until I turned like <clears throat> I think it was like sixteen or something like that. Then she finally let me do it all of a sudden. Oh really? But it. I had been asking her for a long time. The pictures. Mm-hmm. How do y'all feel about? Uh, I know you don't have kids, but how do y'all feel about kids? Excuse me, that had their ears pierced. It's crazy because I like just, elementary. We have a daughter that we just had, and I'm debating on when I want to get her ears pierced. Oh, her ears are well, pierced. I'm um, talking about like little boys. Uh, no, I I'm mean, gonna get into that. Corrected because kids are kids, so you gotta make sure you. Hey, but see what you did there. Um, I just start off with that because it's something I've been thinking about. Like, where am I gonna go? With, you know, I'm mm-hmm. actually gonna ask her doctor for her four month checkup if they do it there. If not, then we're gonna probably take her to Claire's in the mall or something like Claire's, that. Claire's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we did Mariah in the mall. Yeah, we did. We went to Claire's. But the boys, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't really believe in that. I feel like that's their choice. Yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. force it on them. Yeah, for that's, sure. Some parents be straight off the rip giving their boys, getting their boys ears pierced at two months. Yeah, no, and I feel like that's <laughs> not. They didn't really have an option. Yeah. you know, some boys. What if they didn't want their ears pierced? You know, mm-hmm. like that's something I feel like. When they, they get old enough, it. maybe teenage age, yeah. they're gonna be like, "Hey, I want my ears pierced," or "I don't." You know, it's their choice. That's how I feel. Yeah, no, that's that. that's fair. That's fair. I don't think it should be, um, you know, uh, a forced situation. Like it just should be like, you know, when they old enough. <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like when you're old enough or whatever. I right, cool. We can we can discuss that, but not at no fucking. Five and six, like you know. Yeah, I've been saying little little yeah. kids in the uh, they be dripped out. Yeah, yeah. They, they be do. iced out. They do. They be having the earrings and mm-hmm. all that, and the ring and all that. You know, they be fresh, but you know, I don't know. I just. But that's how people feel. Like speaking of that period, people feel some type of way about your children having jewelry at a young age. And, <laughs> you know, I feel like, I feel like I feel slugged. <laughs> you stupid. No, I'm just saying. I feel like it's. <laughs> Everybody parents differently. Mm-hmm. If yeah. you want to get your child jewelry and get them iced up at 10, 5, go 2, crazy. 1, that is, if that's your prerogative, if you got the money, go for it. If you got it, do it. Mm-hmm. Like, you cannot tell nobody how to parent. Thanks. I learned that real early. Because mm-hmm. parenting is a real, like, it's a real sensitive subject for a lot of people. Yeah. In in certain things, people don't take lightly. Some people so, don't need to be parents, though. That's true. That's <laughs> mm-hmm. that's hella true. But you can't tell them that. 
No, nah, I could you judge from a distance. Because you tell them that, they get offensive. I could but judge I, from a distance. But I had to, I had to really like think about CPS. that because for me, I get offensive too hey. when people bring up hey. anything within my parenting. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I can't really, I have to look in the mirror at that. Like, I can't really just be too mad at a person for taking something <clears throat> left when it's like, I get like that. I think it's always on the intentions. Like if somebody is is really sincere about their approach because of the safety and it's the also health the way you say child. something too. Yeah, that's why I mm-hmm. said the intention in, in delivery. You know, yeah. like if you, hey, um, you might want to put baby shoes, uh, socks on the baby. It's kind of cold out here because we didn't see some people oh walking God, in the store. Yes. It's Little freezing cold. Little bitty babies as old as baby my baby. Don't got is. no cap, like, no socks. <laughs> I, I I think that I'm maybe I'm one sorry. with the earth. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It'd be very Man, disturbing to see that. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, I told Nisha, I said maybe we need to do that. I said I think these kids are like <laughs> he's talking about they built their immune system. Yeah, they've been, hey, <laughs> they've been through some shit. Some of their kids be coming out hard as a rock. They, COVID they tough, strong. man. Yeah, <laughs> COVID <laughs> tough. <Ford> tough. <laughs> nah, and they've been in t- probably been in the hospital multiple times, and that's not good. But they're here, you know. Yeah. They survived, you know. No. Well, I was survived. a hospital baby. I was in and out the hospital okay. all the time. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, really? But mm-hmm. your mom had, I'm sure your mom had you decked down with the socks. The clothes. <laughs> of course. She not. wasn't <laughs> the type to just yeah, let nah, you nah, yeah. nah, my free mom, and all my here. grandma, none of them were going to play that. <laughs> like, but that's that's a different time period. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, we, it was like, yo, even in the crib, put, put some socks on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it was, uh-huh. that was, that was a different time period. So, nah, it's a, it's a fair, fair point to have. You know what I'm saying? People raise their children differently. So, you know, everyone's going to have their opinions about it. It's just how you address it, you know. So if someone decides, hey, you know, I'm a, I want my child to have all this ice, all this jewelry. I didn't get to have it when I was a kid. Hey, go crazy. So I <clears> want <throat> him to be able to experience that or her to experience that. Though. I'm Hey, I'm a whatever floats your boat when it comes yeah. to parenting, when uh-huh. it comes to just your life, whatever yeah, you want to do. Yours. As long as it's not karma, causing harm yeah. to your child or anyone in, in my vicinity, then I'm, yeah. you know, it's like whatever. But... You, I just don't personally want my kids to be like, yeah, like label. Yeah, I don't. Uh-huh. Driven, you know what I'm saying? On, uh, on things. That's oh, like, yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah. preach that all the time. Yeah, I, I haven't, seen, I haven't the seen them in the in the Dior drip or the or the Balenciaga yeah, nah. drip. Like I just, I just want them to like how I am. Yeah, yeah like yeah. I'm when I want something, I yeah. get it. I don't sleep, dream about it. I don't be. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh man, I gotta just gotta, you know, like I like if I want it, cool. Like if I, I'm not gonna get it, cool. Like I'm yeah. not gonna do all that extra stuff about it because it's just things at the end of the day. You know yeah, what I'm facts. saying? Like I want a Porsche. That's about the most thing I could say that you you'll know, get one. And uh, you definitely just trying to prioritize. Yeah, what's important, you yeah. know, and then I'll get it when it's when it's time. You yeah, know, when it, when it when it pop up one day, yeah. bada boom, bada bing. Oh, but when I do. <laughs> Porsche is clean, you know. When I do though, boy, y'all better that watch boy. out. You know, I think me. that's gonna be that's gonna be the day. Talk about you, what? Go ahead. Look at you. Talk about you. What? Look at you. He, iPhone fifteen. He, he already he already know what type of time he gonna be on, but he talk about me. Yeah. On the time I'm on, and I don't even I'm be just, on the But I'm time. just on just okay. it's a straight and narrow though. Like, uh, I don't. You know, right. It's Porsche. Me get it. Check it off. That's it. <laughs> it's gonna be straight and narrow. All right. It is fast and furious in the next straight and narrow. In a safe way though, with a helmet. If y'all haven't seen my Instagram, okay. you would know because right. I smoked Ross you did, technically. Bro. You didn't. Ross, I had the fastest time. You know I smoked him. You know I spun I out. <laughs> nigga hit me. And the nigga who said he was in first place, oh, I didn't even know he was in our race. I didn't, yeah, I didn't, didn't, even, I didn't even see him. Exactly. Like, Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> they was just giving niggas numbers. <laughs> Like, like, uh, we don't know because uh, I saw Malisha had passed me up after I just spun out. But I think we had lapped her. Did we? Because she came in like seventh or something. Oh. Yeah, she was right before me. I think I was like, yeah. Yeah. I saw Nisha. I'm like, ooh, Nisha. I didn't see Nisha. I, I, I know saw... I ran into two women. You might have ran into me. Y'all have run into everybody. Was just driving the nose. Yeah, I, I told y'all you before the race, me. I said, I am cruising. I am not doing all that. I am not racing. I said, well, you better move because I'm about to bust your ass. I'm. <laughs> Because I almost hit Nisha, but I had to break because I'm trying to cut in the middle because she over there 10 and 2. I told you I was. I was not playing. That was so funny. And I got my nice little eighth place yeah. and I was okay you with it. You got eighth? Yep, yeah. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Nisha was, bro, I'm telling you. I was well, you placed because it was more than eight people then. Yeah, yeah, I, played, like, I was, I was surprised I placed. It was like 12 people. <laughs> but uh, uh, your homie, um, he didn't, he got disqualified. Yeah, he didn't get no time. I don't really? know what happened. That's why when I asked That's him, him he's what like, do you play, he's like, don't worry about it. Yeah, because that <laughs> whole, it's 12, 
No time. It was just blank. I was like, oh. But he was cruising too. Yeah, he was, he was cruising too. <laughs> he was, was but he go there all the time. He was trying to make a time. So he was really upset that he got disqualified. Oh. I wonder what happened. Because we was talking about it. He said, like, damn, I got disqualified. But what happened? Nah, I don't. I, I didn't know. ask him. Yeah. Maybe know. we can ask him about the practice. He was so, black. I don't know. Driving while black. <laughs> we was all black driving while black. I, know, I still don't know where old buddy came from. Because that nigga I didn't even see him. I didn't see him. That was a Hispanic dude that said he got first place? Yeah. Oh. I thought I you said his kid did. Nah, him. He was out. I guess he was out there. Fam. Maybe he was moving too fast. Them two, three, <laughs> them two people, because he definitely didn't get third. I did. Them two, I, I know. I, I should have had. I, I knew had I had first. Because I was smoking it everybody. It was all about and they the kept, time. But they kept slowing my, my car down. Yeah, they was Yeah, they were. I drove past you when you was turned around. Bro, at I one said, point, my damn car started happened? going backwards. Yeah. And I just had to hold on brake. <laughs> Cause you know it was going on up that little hill. Oh yeah. yeah. So I just had to sit on the brake. I, you didn't see me. I drove. I just looked at you. I said, "Damn." I'm just sitting there, just installed. Just <laughs> ain't this bottom bitch. Well, we can redo it, man. We can redo it. Then and then the fact of it, you know, I smoked you because even with all that, you was only one second faster than me. Yeah, it, it was like a matter. second. Y'all like right behind each other. My was, was, was good, good man. man. We can always retest it. We, we can always can. retest it, And we can man. turn it into a video. We can. Want that man. would be lit as shit. Yeah. That, that shit was fun. Because y'all was taking that shit GoPro. serious. Hey. Throwing asses on some go-karts. That shit was yeah. fun, though. I mean, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that shit it was, was fun. That was fun, Them bro. go-karts were fast as hell. Mm -hmm. I was scared when I hit that corner. I said, oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And Dreddy's is lit. That's where we were. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry if we didn't say it, but I think Track 21 Ooh, That'll yeah. be a, a dope Ooh, one too, because they yeah. those be going so fast. I'll be kind of like thinking mm -hmm. I'm about to. I don't know. I thought Andretti's was faster. Nah, the track twenty one, the most hell <laughs> fast. I think with Andretti's, they give you because we like, did both. We did we did track twenty one for your birthday. Mm -hmm. I think Andretti's build up, so you might think it's faster because it has a building stage. Oh, okay. Like because uh -huh. you be going, it has doing that stalling. The, the hills yeah, and, and they stuff. got hills and stuff too. So you be kind of like stalling for a little bit. Then they give you a little bit of speed. I don't like that they slow you down too much. That part that, I don't that, like. Yeah, because they don't track do that. They just let you go. The only thing is, Dill, uh, shout out to a homie uh, that came down here for Evan, a uh, Evan. Chisel's cousin. Yeah, um, when we was out there. there Gabos was, Reacts. Make sure y'all go check them out on YouTube. Yeah, um, we was uh, racing and there was that one chick. She was there the entire day until they told her, hey, you got to get off the track. Because she kept crashing and, and Oh, that, yeah. She was, she was just much. blatantly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually surprised that they didn't take her off sooner. Yeah, because she had I was trying to get the hell out of her way. Yeah, she hit him and then he had to he was done because he i think he, you know he you know he, yeah he, he said started, he had a real bad headache, headache i had gave him some medicine yeah because now nah, she hit him hard but they don't really stop you like they let you go they're like oh, you want to go that's why you had to sign so many pages yeah and then they let you go mm -hmm. so yeah we we can definitely do the track to when they ain't gonna stop you smoke on this pack real quick <laughs> all right brother no time for this hey, shit man. ain't no slowing me down all right. ain't no mercy all right, bro. Running, bro. oh my if, god y'all are funny hey, man. Uh, cause he know he know bro I ain't even gotta say it this is coming from the guy that hit me man you yeah. hit me you spent out like I, I was, spun out I was like oh man and then that, I can see you coming what I'm supposed to do <laughs> I was like, well, here we go. Oh, oh. Well, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. You was a target, bro. You was a sitting duck. Of course. That shit. And then I think towards the end, before they start sewing this again, this nigga hit me. He was not trying to let me. I was like, yo. I think that's why they slowed me down. Because you kept hitting everything. Those two were menaces. Yeah, no, oh, man. That's I, don't, I don't know who. It was two. I don't know if that was you or your mom. <laughs> But everybody hit her. They were she about was to in the hit way. Each I told other. her, I said, My move, you're in the way. That's why I had to go. I, I think mm -hmm. I bumped one of them because mm -hmm. they were trying not to hit each other, and I was coming up behind them. And then I was trying to get around them, but they was like kind of fighting, and I was uh, like, whatever it is going on. And I just ooped and then got around. <laughs> Cause I like it looked like it's gonna be an accident. Somebody yeah. about to spin out back there. And y'all not finna catch me in that little the little situation. But definitely fun, bro. No, nah, it was kids enjoyed themselves. Mm -hmm. It was it was Super, super lit. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it brings out the kid in you. At yeah, these, man. These events and stuff. So, but yeah, I want to get into some of the topics that uh, we do have suggested real quick because uh, y'all have been sending some. In the, oh yeah, in the, the Discord. Discord. Yeah. Um, so shout out to Pit Dog. I know some other people probably didn't send some, but we're just gonna go from what I can see at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, he had quite a few of them. God damn. <laughs> I think it was one talking about uh, being ghosted. Yeah, so I'm going to read that one. Another okay. topic that I definitely need advice from, Dub Ross, on the podcast. Uh, Anisha, since you're here, I'll add you. Uh, have you ever been uh -huh. ghosted before? If so, how do you handle it? How did it affect you? And how do you feel about the concept of ghosting? 
It's a part of life, my G. It mm. is. It is. It, that's just what it is. It, like some of the. Oh my! <laughs> you stupid. Some of the, the people you look up to have been ghosted. I'm they, trying to see. And have I been ghosted? Like when you say ghosted, like it's I'm, like just I'm talking to somebody and then they just cut me off completely and just I never hear from them again because yeah. they cut me off. Yeah, that, uh, I that's mean, pretty much it. Yeah, that would. No, be, I'm just because I'm trying I, to see if I've ever been. I don't feel like I've ever been like ghosted. I don't think I ever been ghosted. I can't even lie. I don't think I have. Um, and it's not even to try to put myself in a certain. It's just I don't think I put myself out there enough to yeah yeah yeah, yeah. try yeah. so much to where I would yeah 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 yeah. Because yeah. most of you my know. situations were like relationships. Or yeah, like yeah yeah yeah. Situationships to where it was like it was never like a talk to person. Yeah one time. yeah like that's me. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. that's the only reason why I can't say I never have been because yeah. I'm a woman like. You know, oh, we don't God, really have. God, okay, I'm okay. not the type of woman. Nah, okay, I get what that means. But no, I'm just saying, I'm not the type of woman that. No, we know they can, but the way she, she flexed it. But I'm just what? trying to explain <laughs> why I why I said what I said because I'm not the type of woman that just goes out there and meets people. Men usually and chase then you. like just say, <laughs> men you usually just get say chased. It. I usually get chased, and then on top of that, oh I God. like I said, I have rela- I have relationships <laughs> or situationships. So it's like one of those where we're talking, mm-hmm. communicative. Going out, dating, yeah. not in a relationship as of yet, but there. It's not and, just no. And then I'm either ghost. in a relationship, so I yeah. never had a in between kind of situation. Yeah, so. that's, that's me too. Like I think most of mine were like friends, mm-hmm. homies. Like you wasn't no situation where I'm trying to talk to somebody and they just cut me off. Yeah. Mm. Like I, I mean, I could have completely ignored. But see, even if it, yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't recall because most people I'm like cool will be cool with. You know what about like uh, because I've done it before, like just a bad first date, first date experience, and I was like, yeah, I'm good on that. Oh, oh so you do the ghosting? I thought the question was you get ghost because well, I've, I've I've ghosted either one. <laughs> I mean, have you either one? Either one, yeah. Oh yeah, I have done that. Like yeah. you, you. I mean, I'm not even percent sure you've had a bad date or yeah. a bad yeah. situation you where you talk to nothing. somebody a few times or one time on the phone and you like, yeah, this yeah, ain't this it. Ain't it. This, yeah. it and we all have had that, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I definitely had that situation. I've, I've had mm-hmm. this, but I, I think it's just I don't know. I used to have this thing where I didn't want to make people feel bad. Oh shit! <laughs> but I mean, I they didn't, would be okay making you feel bad. That's I don't know. It's just so weird. It's I like I, I mean, I I get it. You don't want to be. I think that's. <clears throat> oh, she's saying what? I think. So you say that, but it's I do feel like it's like it depends on who it is type of situation. Because if it was be honest, if it was a a a, a, a not attractive woman mm-hmm. and they try to get at you and they are and then when That's you talk not to ghosting, them, though. No, it it is ghosting. You talking? You don't want to be mean, but if that person's not attractive and they also don't have good conversation and good nothing, you're gonna be like, nah, that's not it. I, I, so don't try to make I'll, it seem like oh I'm, I, I don't want to be mean, but I, if, if you had an ugly, you would leave him. I'm situ- uh, situational yeah. ghosted. Bro, just say you ghosted. Bro. No, no, no. Like oh no, my God. no, He's no. So- no. Like no. Let me explain. God damn it. <laughs> like me explain when you like relationship when you in between relationship and you have it's the ghost clip, yeah. because you know what I'm saying. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. So okay. that's that's. that's that's uh, you, you come in on, between. Come on, Ross. You in between. Come on, Ross. Okay, okay, Help me out now. Like, let's not act like uh, you I, have I to ghost in moments when you in you, between it, a situation. Yeah, if you in, yeah, it's you an emergency. Ghost. It's an emergency ghost. Okay, emergency ghost. <laughs> really? Yeah. How old are we? No, it's one Back of those. Back then, it was an emergency no, ghost. No, it's, it's a mature ghost because at the end no, of the day, Lisa, you're not talking. I'm talking about something completely different. If I'm talking to somebody or I'm in between a situation, exactly, and it's your time is up, I, it's an emergency that I have to ghost you. Because it's not an emergency. I'm back where it's I need to be it's a mature decision to leave that person because you're ready to be in a relationship. It wasn't mature though. <sighs> not my story. Because mature, I say story. I say mature because you could you could have just been talking to both. You could have, like I said, <laughs> you could have. <laughs> And probably was. So that's why it was an emergency ghost. Oh, uh, whatever. All right. It was. You Have always you ever been trying to emergency? make stuff sound like it's. You do. Oh. That's the situation. Like, no, it that, is a it situation. Is a, like, it does happen. I got to cut this off because. I here. wouldn't say it's an emergency, but. Exactly. It's I like, it's, it's, a, it's a choice. Like, it's a choice. Keep going. It's going to be a problem. <laughs> So it is an emergency. <laughs> Touche. All right. When you put it like that, all right. D- yeah. It. Yeah. That was an emergency. Come on, Ross. You've been yeah. dealing with all kind of crazies. <laughs> now you know. Keep going. You know. You that is had an to, emergency ghost. You yeah. know. You had to go some people because. Yeah. The, I ain't yeah. trying to tell you business. But yeah. You, you be out. Yeah. And if this girl see you. Yeah. 
because y'all frequent <laughs> yeah. places and you have to cut off because if you don't cut off a person within a certain time period, mm-hmm. they'll still have them feelings yep. and it'll still be fresh to them when you, mm-hmm. if they do so happen to see mm-hmm. you somewhere yeah, with somebody else yeah, that may smoke or not. I'm dead. No, that's that's a fair point, man. But I I don't like the word ghosting because it just depends on how both people. If both people are like they okay with leaving a situation and they don't mind just not communicating and seeing each other anymore, then cool. But when it's a situation where somebody is like really falling for the person mm-hmm. and they got ghosted, then it's kind of like it sucks. It's oh terrible. yeah, nah, yeah, yeah that, that's especially if you had true feelings. I mean, that that really happens a lot often because I mean, it's people that in that sense is because you just said you don't want to like hurt no one's feelings, but at the end of the day, if that person that you emergency ghosted already <laughs> caught feelings for you, you ain't got to do the air quotes. No, I'm just saying if they caught feelings for you, then I mean, at the end of the day, their feelings were already hurt because you had to automatically cut them off because you. Obviously, out of interest, other places. So, at the end of the day, and I'm 90 percent sure which how you are. That person probably follows you on Instagram, or they see you on a daily basis. So, you probably but, drop that situation, now. and then they were like, "Damn, he's already in this situation." Never so, at the right to <laughs> so it's like, on. I mean, but shit. By now, if you haven't let it go by now, I don't know what to tell you. It's people out there that envy. They will hold it you. to the Good end. Thing we don't have dislikes on Instagram. <laughs> You said what? It's a good thing we have dislikes on Instagram. Ah, uh, yeah. Man. I see your little family. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. Never right. Yeah. I mean, but the, I think ghosting is just, it has its reason sometimes. Sometimes you have to ghost somebody because they stalking you. And That's, yeah. they're a guy or a girl that's not getting the yeah. hint. You mm-hmm. went out on a that date being true. nice. You know what I'm saying? You you know, you go on a date being nice to somebody because you want to give them a chance. You want to give them a shot. It ain't working for you. You don't really like them like that. But you don't want to let them down in that way. So you try to friend them, trying to keep them over here, but they don't get the signal. So sometimes ghosting sometimes has to happen to certain people because they don't get the, you know, they're not getting the signals. They're not reading the room. Now that I do agree with, but that's just crazy. But it's a form of ghosting. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I think there's good ghosting and bad ghosting. (laughs) Bro, I think in his question that we clearly have not answered, are we answered in the beginning? I'm gonna yeah, say he said, "Have you ever been ghosted before?" If so, I think how did he's you mainly it? talking in a sense of him being ghosted, ghosted and his feelings and how did you feel? Like he wants to know, but oh. obviously you can't answer it because you said you. Never no, I can't it. answer it. Get over it. Just, <laughs> just get the fuck over it. At the end of the day, we get it. Probably liked her. She probably didn't feel the same way about you. Get over it. Go on about your business. Go work out. Drink some water. Eat right and go do what you're supposed to do. This nigga to touch grass. Yeah, like you, I mean, because you have to. You, you have to really. You cannot allow that to tear you down, bro. Because at the end of the day, if you let that situation get you down, then there's gonna be a million more. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on how gullible you are to women. Are you usually that person that just fall in love quick? Mm-hmm. It's so many different things. Cause That's true. So many things turn women off, and if you mm-hmm. just one of them addictive, like, oh no, I'm gonna get her, and you're continuing to get ghosted, like, bro, it's not them. It's maybe it's you. So, I mean, I feel like in situations too, like you can, you don't have to wait for somebody else. Like, <clears throat> and that can stop you from being rejected. Cause I mean, I feel like if you don't wait on that person and you let it come to you, mm-hmm. that's how it usually works out better than just <clears throat> waiting for someone or bugging someone to mm-hmm. be with somebody. Like, it's not your time. Your time will come. Yeah, nah, man. You, at the end of the day, it, it happens. It happens. So, what you gonna do? You gonna sit there and be like, oh, man, what was me? No, just. Like Doug was saying, get over it, move on. I know it may suck, but it's a part of life. That's that's the part of the dating scene. Sometimes right. people will like you and be interested, and sometimes maybe their feelings change. You know, you can't mm-hmm. control anybody, but you would want someone to, you know, want to be around you and, and like you genuinely than them faking it and leading Facts. you on. And then you see something later on, they messing with somebody else. That's going to really hurt you. That's going to hurt worse. So, yeah, man. That's why it's good ghosting. Yeah, take that as a sign of, damn, that sucks. I don't know what happened. But, you know, hey, cool. Hey, she do her own thing. I'm going to keep moving and move forward, you know. But just always remember that because sometimes people do that to have you as, like, some type of backup option. But remember Mm -hmm. those type of things and, and remember how that make you felt. And if that person do come back around... Nah, keep it moving. Don't even respond. Because people do that. They'll ghost you, won't say nothing. Then, you know what I'm saying, whatever situation they in, it don't work out. Guess what? 
They still got your number. Hey, you up. hey, what's good? Hey, big head. Oh, hey, see. big head. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Oh, I see you out there on Instagram. <laughs> I you know what I'm hey, saying? Big head. They still hey, big head now? Nah, they just, you know, they'll just pop so, up. Yeah, pop up. Hey, what you doing? That's literally. That would be. I man. haven't talked to you in forever. What do you mean? What, do you mean? what am I doing? I'm breathing. Yeah, I'm, I'm living. Dead, not what breathing. do you want me to say? So, you ghosted, so you've been ghosted before? Mm-mm, I wouldn't say being ghosted. <clears throat> I've ghosted someone, but that's like dating. Like first date, didn't like it. Mm. it the experience was not good, and I just kind of moved around. I was like, oh right. yeah, that that makes sense. I was like, all right, well, this ain't it. So, but I, I don't think I've ever technically been like ghosted because, like y'all were saying, it's more so like if I'm talking to someone, we mutually like each other, and we kind of go from there. Mm. So. But yeah, that I wouldn't. He say. said he's the ghoster. He's not. Nah, not like the that. The ghosted. Not like that. I don't think I've been ghosted either. All right, Nisha, you ain't going. No, we we <coughs> know. We get it. Well, no, I'm really sitting there thinking because it's I rare mean, that women get ghosted. Niggas no, it's thirsty. not rare at all. Like yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's not women? rare that women get ghosted. I don't believe that. What do you? It's probably women out here has been ghosted. Yes, but I it's rare. It's, I think it's it's rarer for women to get yes. ghosted than men. Rarer. Rare. Not a word. But. Yeah, whatever it is, it's it's rare. Get the point. It's, For, getting, it's, it's, it's definitely across. rare. Like niggas, rare. That, that's not a word. I don't think oh, it's a word. But uh, we get the point. We get it's it, rare. Though, yeah. Okay, let me use the correct since I'm the English. More rare. Yeah, more rare. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I do my kids, will, so I gotta be. be niggas fair. will sit up there and like beg <laughs> and send you messages every single day trying to take you out. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm like, yeah. I like, think that's why most women who society yeah. will probably deem un. Unattractive have the biggest of heads because they'll ninety percent still get hit on by a guy no matter what they look like. That's true. Then a male getting hit on no matter what he look like. That makes sense. Yeah, because I've seen dudes talk to what I would probably deem not my type. Yeah, with the most force and the most confidence, and Mm -hmm. like she's just the most thing beautiful Mm -hmm. thing walking, and might be to him. And um, Oops. they'll walk around to no, and I'll be like, wow, mm-hmm. you know, because they have choices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But well, most, they got more choices. Yeah, sure. that's why most guys be feeling like, damn, bro, like, you know, give me a shot and whoop the whoop. It ain't mm-hmm. fair. I just don't like when men get into that. It's not fair back because oh, it's not fair. You so, a man? Grow some balls. Be all right. Well, don't do that. Relax. Because <laughs> some relax. dudes need to. <laughs> some dudes didn't grow up with a father figure mm. to understand that. Mm. I mean, you know and that may be true, but I feel like when you get to a certain <clears throat> age, you have to learn how to be a little stronger. You should, but I want to raise my son to be strong. Right, but not everybody got that same type of. Mm-hmm. They know, may. They may foundation. not. They might, you're right. They may not. And, and then some things stick with people. You know, mm-hmm. like something traumatic didn't happen to all of us. I'm sure that stuck with us or shaped our viewpoint on something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So most guys, I just don't like when they get into that. It's not fair. Oh, uh, like, bro, we know it's not. It's At that part point, for we know me that I feel so like gotta, girls, you know. Girls but somebody, don't. but somebody has to. That's why some people see therapy. That's why they used to watch Kevin Samuels and stuff like that. Or they watch different YouTubers. You know, they have the ones that. Go and talk, or the, what's that group of guys that be talking down on women all day? The, the dudes, y'all the pod, know, the dudes. yeah, yeah. The, um, what um, they call uh, fresh and fit, fresh, fresh and, and fit. fit. You yeah. know, they'll you know get a bunch of women on there that's you know look maybe clueless to real facts, <laughs> and then they go in there and they ask them certain questions and they just kind of kill them. <laughs> it's yeah. like, bro, you ain't doing that. You know who to do that with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but. You know, that's that's why guys will be on there. And I've watched it before. Dudes be donating 500. Oh, yeah, I tell her. Yeah. You know, it's because they just want to see women sometimes get mm-hmm. punished. <laughs> you know, because it's like, you're not talking to me. You it's, deserve punishment because so domination in words. I'm a good guy out here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a good guy. Yeah, <laughs> but you we see that though. Yeah, like we dudes do. that we do. they they want to see justice because justice. they're not getting they're good men and Fucking they feel like man. a lot of women when they be you know they do these little street interviews and they yeah. what kind of guy do you want? Oh, he has to be six five, six make at least three hundred thousand a year. And it is it's like, bro, I would ignore that shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm gonna do? Keep fucking scrolling. Yeah. Because it's like, bro, at the end of the day, a dude with that stature, is not nine times out of ten, ain't even focused on them. They're probably, they're usually already married yeah. or they picking yeah. and choosing who they want and yeah. having their way. 
Have them, yeah. Yep. That's yeah. definitely the having their way part. Because you're oh, the yeah. small percentage of people. Yeah, nah, that's that's a very <laughs> select uh, group of individuals. And your OnlyFans is only going to get you so far, love. I mean, and it is. You ain't lying. do what you got to do, fam. Do what Whatever you got to do. Both for your cash, you know, because yeah, somebody is. paying for it. No, for sure. You ain't lying. I don't get mad at the women no more. I used to yeah. be like, why? Huh? You know, and I guess it was just because of imagery thing. I always wanted women to have this. I always feel like women should be on this pedestal. That's just yeah. all my th- okay. always my thing. I feel like women deserve to be catered to, taken care of, and treated with the utmost respect. You know, and so when I was seeing women doing certain things, it'd be like, man, why? Why are you putting yourself in this situation? We were just talking about somebody we know that just, you know, put mm-hmm. themselves in certain situations where they they just for everybody. And it's like mm-hmm. you can be so much more. Yeah. You have so much more to offer to the world and just yeah, for sure. your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, that gets old. And mm-hmm. I don't think people are going to really know how to handle that when they're not the it girl no more. Mm-hmm. The it That's guy. True. You know, when you're 40 and, you know, it ain't. You know, I know we BBLing it up, but it's only so much you can do wow. to a mm-hmm. BBL when you turn 50. It ain't going to necessarily sit right if you ain't, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So people, will they be able to mentally and emotionally deal with not being that girl no more? Mm-hmm. What happens then? That's Depression increases and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why. But <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard about this uh, recently. Kiki Palmer uh, filing for sole legal oh, and physical that. custody of her son with Darius Jackson. Mm. Apparently, um, she uh, also filed a restraining order against him as well and accuses him oh, of abuse. abusing her uh, multiple times. She, wow. It was a yep. statement. Uh, Palmer claimed that uh, she uh, had security footage from November 5th incident in which Jackson trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent and threatened her before lunging for my neck, striking me, throwing me over the couch and stealing my phone. She went on to allege that there have been many instances of physical violence with Jackson that include destroying my personal property, including diaries and uh including di- uh, diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing my uh, belongings into the street throwing my car keys to prevent me from driving away, hitting me in front of our son, spewing profanities about me to our son, threatening to, you know, do uh, harm to himself with a uh, weapon uh, if I left left him. Harassment and other physical, emotional abuse. That's wild. And all this stuff, she, you know, obviously been keeping wraps, but I think this was like a public record Mm because she, you know, uh, went through uh, the legal system, so obviously it was you know they were able to obtain it. But she been keeping this low key, and that's it's, wild, fam. And it's it's crazy what you know people deal with um, that you never know. That you never know. And I know a lot of people uh, around the time were getting on her with the whole mm-hmm. uh, Usher situation and whatever the situation. How was. he handled it? And show me that she was she's not lying. Like why why go to Twitter and write about your your mother of your yeah. child and yeah, talk that, about what kind of mom is this? That mm. that sounds like a jealous guy. Because yeah. I mean, uh, any other dude gonna hit you up, or they gonna tell you about how you're acting, or they're gonna address you. Yeah, yeah. Why go to the social media when she's already a public figure, yeah. and you're putting that on social media, and it goes around. <clears throat> he thought that was people were bagging him up, saying that yeah. he was right. But at the end of the day, he addressed it wrong. The way you addressed it kind of shows me that. Yeah, I think people it's were saying two sides to a story, and that story kind of sounds similar I think to being were saying right. His message may not have been wrong; it's just the delivery. delivery and yeah. how you no did. one should have known except <laughs> no one should have known. Uh, Kiki, if if you dress your you know opinions, but once again, at the end of the day, you also know you know what I'm saying that she is a public figure. So mm-hmm. it, you know you knew that before you were dating her. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure there was something that you saw outside of just you know the. The you know the looks and who she was mm-hmm. that you you knew she's in the limelight she, she may wear dresses like that that's yeah. something that you either had that discussion with or if you're comfortable with then that's just what it is but right. addressing it publicly which we all we've talked about this through and through we mm-hmm. all kind of agree that he shouldn't have addressed it publicly but he has a fair <laughs> point to have that criticism yeah. but but him to all, be on this type of time yeah wow, this ain't like, nah, like that this, ain't you don't put your I'm just talking about. Mm-hmm. How we should be holding women to the highest regard in in this situation. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, not at all. It's not looking good at all, especially you need to be in jail. <clears throat> and, and you you take that aggression around out around other people who, you know what I'm saying, 
who harm who, your who family. Ready, who want, who, I'm talking about like in jail. Like you put them around people that's oh, that's yeah. ready to, to attack when you ready to attack. You know what I'm saying? Don't harm nobody who's, you know, you know you're stronger than or, you know, who's vulnerable, mm-hmm. um, you know, to you. And especially yeah, in front of your kids. I'm going off myself. If you leave, like, bro, that's yeah, less bro, lame, that's bro. Sick. That's There's people that are really going through it and you over here trying to guide, like, doing that to... Using that to hold somebody. That's to that's you. messed up. And there, I, I feel like there's a lot of people in situations like that. Like oh, people, for sure. People threaten to end themselves <laughs> if, if you leave. You leave and people feel, like, accountable yep. to, to stick in through situations because you never know why she had to stay there. Love, yep. child, it's so many things. Yeah. They keep you in certain what I, situations. What I did see as well is I did see him tweet after everything came out. Mm-hmm. Um, he was like... Still tweeting, huh? Uh, yeah, he yeah. was like, see you soon, son, or something like that. Like, basically ignoring what she was saying. Like, it's okay, son. I'll see you soon. And I was like... I, he's, just, I was like, <laughs> it just gives me narcissistic vibes. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what it gives <laughs> me. It gives me crazy. And I'm I'm hoping that this is not true because I wouldn't nev- don't want to go through this. But at the end of the day, Especially the if child. it's right, yeah. exactly for the- there's a little baby too. She mm-hmm. just had that baby maybe a year ago. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if the situation is like that, he needs to be in jail. He does not need to have custody of that child. Especially mm-hmm. if he's putting his hands on her in front of the child, that could be traumatic for a child mm-hmm. to see that. And think about that. He's this young now who, who knows if he's going to see that when he get older, if, yeah. if his dad's doing it now, <clears throat> don't think he gonna do when he older. Yeah. yeah. And then you, 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 and it doesn't seem like that. you know Kiki's just out here doing it for the attention because we've never seen her do no. anything like this uh-uh. prior to. She's mm-hmm. always just kind of stayed in her lane and kept it private. You know, kept it private. So you know the fact that she did even open up about the relationship and about having a child with him or whatnot, and then you know it it, it turned into this. You know, I'm sure she never wanted that. So that's why it's it's one of those type of things where you know you can possibly uh, suspend that. Uh, you know that disbelief. You know, like uh, there's a good chance she may be telling the truth here because she just <clears throat> her character has never been that. You know, we still don't know the full truth, but you know, apparently, if you know she is granted custody, then maybe there's some truth to it. If she has visual proof of it, mm-hmm. then yeah, you know. But um, it's just it, it goes back to um what we always talk about how people. I remember when. You know, she first came out about a relationship and the pregnancy, and I like, everybody, oh man, look at them so <laughs> yeah, beautiful yeah, yeah. together. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just one of those Story things and- when it's like you never know what somebody's going through. They, they post the pictures and everything else, but you don't know their private life. It mm-hmm. could be more tor- uh, turmoil than you uh, realize. So everybody be idolizing all these damn relationships and not realizing, well, what comes with relationships is the hard times. Not those type of hard times. No, mm-hmm. that's. Way too much, but just in general, it's not always the glitz and glam, and everybody's not always relationship goals. You should be your own relationship. Fake, goals. fake social yeah. media <laughs> relationships are killing real off social media relationships because mm-hmm. people scroll on Instagram. Look at your time. How long do you spend on there? Uh-huh. Scrolling through Instagram and you're seeing a bunch of make believe. Everybody yep. putting their best image out there. Yep. You take a picture. You're gonna put the best picture out there. You're gonna mm-hmm. filter it. We're seeing fakeness all day, all day, <laughs> every day, every day, and then you just. Your mind is starting to trick you from what's reality. Mm-hmm. And then even with dating, when you're trying to date somebody, now you're looking for what you've seen on social media. Mm-hmm. That's you know, true. Like I seen this couple the other day. Um, uh, just, I don't know, it'd be random mm-hmm. like yeah. videos now that just uh-huh. be in my algorithm. But it was a white couple. And the dude and the lady, you know, they she was doing something for him. She was, uh, he was going out of town for business. And so she was talking to him about his game room. He wanted to set up his office yeah. uh, better. So she redid his whole office for him mm. while he was out. I'm talking about she was building stuff, sanding stuff down, Damn. and whoopty whoop and all that. The fuck that and then carpenter. so you start to go Carpet. through the comments <laughs> and you say, oh man, she the prize. It's see women like this. Whoop, whoop. And you know, I'm like, that's the thing. Like, that may be working for them. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then you see him, he never argues with her. He's always mm-hmm. calling her everything the most, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. And the women are like, this is my stand. I already have high standards, so this is increasing my standards even more. My husband should be treating me like how he does you, and it's like that may be cool, cool for them, yeah. and they may be showing their life and whatever. But it's like you can't assume that that's how yours should be. Everything works for everybody in a different way, yeah. and what we're doing is we're comparing and contrasting all day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's messing us up because we seeing what you do. Oh, you just bought your wife this. Yeah. Hmm. 
something and now your wife looking because you bought your girl something and she expected me to get her something out because she see that this girl is reacting in a mm-hmm. cute way because yeah. you didn't and it's just that's the problem that we it just is the problem. we need blinders like we need to blind ourselves from I what's seen going this on. uh TikTok video that was going viral where it was like a it was a couple like you said mm-hmm. and it was a couple where they were showing what you see on social media versus what it is in real life. <laughs> so they had like a relate. It was two couples, and they, they were mm-hmm. uh, showing how they were showing them like doing little cute poses yeah. and stuff like that. And it's like what you see on Instagram, and then it's like as soon as the camera come off and they fighting and fisting yeah. at each other, <laughs> and it's like and then it's like so what you see on Instagram, she's cooking for him, and then in real life she she throwing shit on the pot, she's yeah, yelling. Yeah. So Mad it's about like. It. People, that's and it's sad that we talked about that last part about how the internet is taking control over everybody, yeah. and it's like they see certain things as goals and how life should be on the internet. I'm so tired of that word. I never thought I'd be tired of the word goals. And it's so it's so <laughs> yeah. sad because it's like in real life. I'm not saying people's families and relationships are not perfect and. Well, nobody's perfect, so I'm not yeah. going to say that. Mm-hmm. But I'm not saying that the relationship is not great. Because mm-hmm. like we, we talked about stuff like that before. Like mm-hmm. There's people out there that actually have good relationships. Yeah. But the sad thing is, is everybody wants to portray <laughs> what they see on the internet. Yeah. And it's so sad that nobody wants to just be like, if you're going to be them. good, be good. Like, like we talked about how we don't show certain things on the internet on purpose. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, what we do behind closed doors is our business. Like, if we're in a good relationship... Let us be in a good relationship. Yeah. Nobody has to see that. Nobody mm. needs to know that. Like, you don't need to be goals. Everybody's not goals. It. And I stop overthinking it because that's what makes people stress. And people are really out here trying to fight to be this couple. Mm-hmm. And they're trying to be like other people, which makes their relationship really fall off. Yeah, because you start to compare all day what you're not getting. Exactly. At home. It's like, well, I seen this woman. He she don't do build. This. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> he like, ain't build me no she shit. That he is didn't... so crazy to me. Yeah, you do know, all day, you just start becoming that nigga. Yeah. And don't do nothing in It'd be house. funny because uh me and Warren we be talking sometimes and we nitpick at little things and it'd be like stuff he see, I'd be like, Well, babe, you might think this girl may be doing this. You might see it on the internet, but as soon as she get off the internet, I bet you, you go with that girl and she gonna be doing shit you see it on the internet. She might be doing this on the show and people what she doing, but mm-hmm. in reality, she probably one of them girls that don't do half of the shit she's showing. Well, mm-hmm. I do think you can make a dance with me, though. I do. I, I yeah, feel like right. she, you know, you know what? One thing in about in me, and... though, is you know, one thing about me that everybody knows is <laughs> I go hard for my husband. So if it's oh, something sure. that you want, mm-hmm. I try my best. Oh, yeah, if I can't sure. do it, I'll find somebody that can. Yeah, mm-hmm. you are. Same here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> me too. Me too. But I don't have to show that on the internet. Not that. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, but, and I, I just said that to say that kind of the same thing. Like, you know, it's, it's a reality thing and it's a real life thing. But mm-hmm. when you, you comparing all day and you just, I just went through every video of them and they're just the cutest couple. And it's like, yeah, that, that may be great for them. They may have the best relationship ever, you know, but you have to find what's going to work for you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. If you keep doing that, you're going to forever feel like, oh, this nigga, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's never going to be enough. It's never mm-hmm. going to be enough. You know, and so we have to get out People have of that. to understand it. You are not going to get, Everybody is not the same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't be the same. Like they're they're trying to make everybody the same. Like the this BBL error. Like everybody <laughs> wants to look the same, when be the same, be dress over? the same, date the same women in the industry. Like mm-hmm. what is up with that? Yeah, I, I mean, hey, it's because you know uh, apparently Lori Harvey and uh, oh, yeah. Damson broke up. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, his contract has expired. Yeah, even dead. future endeavor. I seen the saying? funniest damn memes with that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy, but we we know why she's able to do that because of how who she is, and how she looks, mm-hmm. and who she's dated. So I'm not here to knock her. I know you know some people be like, damn, but I mean, niggas do it all the do time. It. Yeah, niggas do it. Niggas do it all the time. We, we they praise may not Drake. We praise all yeah. those other people that in. Nigga. Got the rings of Thanos. Yeah, oh, like man, yeah. Crazy. So yeah. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> well, not I mean, me. clearly there ain't no, and it's, it seems like outs, everybody outside of Future, <laughs> he's the only one that be sending toxic shots. Yeah. But outside of him, everybody else, they kind of just been all right, cool. I had my fun, and then I, you know, went back. What's so, and- it? Tell. Steve Harvey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to. Don't like, put me on no rap song about my damn daughter. But yeah, now nah. me and her gonna have a. You think he talked to her? You think Steve? Because you know Steve be. You I'm know, sure. Both, he, I'm sure he's had conversations. But I mean, I mean, she's, she's not, grown. She's an she, adult. No, no, I know. But I'm just saying that because I know it. Like we were saying earlier, 
when kids get to a certain age, you can't tell them what to exactly. do. Exactly. And that, that goes back to you. You are in the limelight, right? Nah, there's people I ain't in no, that there's line. people that look up to you. They are. And they look up to you guys' channel. So let your child. <laughs> That's why get, I don't, don't want to get that popular. No, anymore. I'm saying when your I child gets be old enough and, stuff, and she yeah. gets grown and she decides to do, or, you know, what can you do? Because I'm ignorant. I'm like, you ain't coming with me to the red carpet. You, you stay <laughs> oh, your ass over there. God, Go to the black carpet. <laughs> wow. Bro. You and this shit. <laughs> wow. I'm dead ass, bro. I'm oh, ignorant. Maybe that's me now, man. but yeah, no. Nah. You change with you, yo. especially like my sons. You be on some wild shit. Hey, hey. When you go mom. through, when you go through, they always told me because I haven't went through it yet. They said when you go through the teenage stage with your kids, mm-hmm. that's when it get real. It gets real and it puts you in a whole nother element. Like, I mean, think about think about. I mean, I know Will's going through enough with Jada, but think about the time when when Jaden and them was on yeah. that on that weird shit. weird ass shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. They were they were trying to find themselves. And yeah, you find yourself <laughs> over there. Well, that's why he said and one thing camera. he regrets is being so open and letting his kids be so free. Yeah. Because that's something that you clearly too see much free will. Exactly. Yeah. And it's yeah, they, oh dad, I just wanna <laughs> like no nigga, sit your ass down. <laughs> I ain't doing that. You man, they gonna man, somebody gonna catch me on camera one day. Like, hey, what you the hell? No, that shit is <laughs> wow. No, I'm not gonna be. I can't. What can you can't do? Be though? A plant. You cannot do anything. I can't, but I can yeah. keep your ass from around me. <laughs> oh you ain't finna be doing that wild shit on camera with me coming with a kilt to a damn baseball game. <laughs> Nigga. I mean, that's the drip, bro. Yeah, drip your ass over there. That's the drip, bro. I'm yeah. just not telling you when I'm going. <laughs> like, yeah, no, bro, bro you're not. No, that's cold cold. my ass. I'm cold, bro. I'm, you can't do, man. Hey, just that's gonna be a story for another day. You are so Maybe I will have grown and matured by yeah, then. Yeah, man, that's but that's years off, man. I'm gonna be talking to you and letting you know what's up, fam. I have a status. Off. Let's say I get popular. You know, I'm on movies and stuff, and you know, we box office. And, mm-hmm. You know, no, you got a red carpet. Put something normal on. Don't be out here trying to go viral man, off of my name. Like, Put, nobody puts nothing normal on when it goes to the red carpet except the low key people. I'm putting something normal on. You we will put are going as a unit of normal. But <laughs> if if you want to come, I, see my thing is you can do what you want. You're right. You are an adult, but I can choose who can be in my company. Oh my god, bro. You're not coming to my Even movie the premiere kids, like man, that. That's cold. Yeah. Your own kids, especially man. the kids. Your own they, kids. They the first ones. Wow. Just reality. I'm just saying. Wow. So you letting your son just. Come out with some booty shorts into your movie premiere. <laughs> nah, like, like, man, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. It's not even I'm getting just, that far. I'm not, I'm just it's saying, just like, hey, dad, I far. feel like wearing some coochie cutters today for your movie <laughs> premiere. Put some <laughs> fucking and... pants on, nigga. Let's get the fuck about it. We late already. No, nah, no, nah, I can do what I want. This is a free world. I'm grown. Nah, man. I'm 22. You can't tell me what to wear. Well, you ain't going with me. <laughs> I'm sitting right at home. You're gonna sit right at home. Security, make sure this yeah, nigga don't make follow sure me. my security. Hey, security, <laughs> he stay here. You can't do this, Dad. Yes, I fucking can. Cause you still live with me. So when you get out on home, you can do whatever the hell you want. He ain't going with me. Security, make sure exactly. he stay here. All right, I'll see you after the premiere. You want something to eat afterwards? <clears throat> I'll get you something to eat. That's afterwards. crazy, bro. That's about it. That's what I'm saying. Where your little one at? Ah, oh, he couldn't make it. Today. Couldn't make it, man. Over here tweeting, ranting, in all caps. <laughs> My dad trying to control me. Whoa, wow. I think somebody took his phone. I think I'm gonna somebody re- stole his phone. I'm going to call him. Get your ass off that guy. Yeah, that's all right. I got you. Security. Yep. Go in there and confiscate that phone. Yeah. I'll pay com- for it anyway. Or just turn off the internet. All right. Yeah. Turn off the internet. Yeah. Boom. There we go. He got a cell phone. He still got his data. I'll turn that off too. <laughs> I'm cutting everything off. I'm cutting Complete everything control. off. Cause nine times out of ten they ain't gonna be paying for nothing. They should be living their yeah, life. Back then they go. By that time they gonna have shit to go in your arm for the internet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I heard. I, mean? uh, I think Elon was trying to do something with the fucking <laughs> chips in the brain or some shit. Yeah, the, I think uh, seen on Twitter that he needed a, a volunteer. And there's gonna be some dumb dumb that volunteer. Of course, <laughs> it's gonna be a dumb dumb, bro. It's gonna be. I'll do it, Mister Elon, for sure. I love what you're doing with X, and I love my Tesla. And he gonna put that chip in you. And it's over. It's and GGs. Be correct. Yeah, something gonna happen. Wow. I'm just not gonna be no. I'm test good, bro. I'm I'm good, man. It's not meant for me. <laughs> it's maybe for the 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 new generation. You can put chips in them, but it, for me, <laughs> I'm I'm already past it. You know, what I'm saying I'm, I'm I don't need nobody putting in chips to track and all this other stuff. Because what they're telling you, what they 
plan on doing ain't really what they're really doing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they they will only tell you enough for what you need, what they want you to know. Yeah. So if a nigga's talking about, oh yeah, this is to measure your vitals and make sure you're good in case anything happens to you. Mm-hmm. We'll always know we don't need a phone. We'll always be on you. Secretly, they over there <laughs> increasing your blood pressure. Yeah. So you gotta get certain pills <laughs> and then you gotta go to the pharmaceuticals and man, why my blood pressure? I, I'm I'm normally been good. Or when they when they want to get rid of you, you yeah. just push a button. All of a sudden your head and headaches start getting into <laughs> You wait till you go to sleep and shut your brain off. Oh man, what's happening? You It'll was, all be over soon. You was talking too too greasy on that podcast. <laughs> oh, now you're getting too personal. <laughs> I did want to say because somebody asked, uh, <laughs> one thing in your life you wish you could do over. Man, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not one thing in life you wish you can do over. Mm, nah. Or maybe if you went back to your high school stuff, which you would, if you was able to go back, like, I don't want to give it away because I'm watching this show. Um, but if you was able to control time, not control time, but if you had a chance to go back to high school with all your knowledge that you have now and then. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> mm, maybe. That's maybe, like a two part question. Yeah, maybe probably, you know, getting, now that I know, you know, my potential getting to like you know maybe uh video by recording and stuff like that youtube earlier mm. probably but the That's thing is one. the thing is is always a catch that because you doing that it you're not going to be the same you when you go back to the present it may <clears> even <throat> make things worse it can make things better but it make things worse that's the gamble and that's the gamble because you may not be certain people you was cool with in your present time, once mm-hmm. you change things, they probably not you probably not cool with them. You may <laughs> have less friends. You may have a lot more fake friends. There's a lot that go into that. Mm-hmm. So that's why I still, you know, the, the idea and the theory of that is cool. But I've always been comfortable with how things played out, and that's why I, you know, I, I look at it that way because I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't change the bad relationships. I wouldn't change the bad, you know. Um, friendships or you know the struggles, I mm-hmm. wouldn't change that because then I wouldn't be who I am now. You know right. what I'm saying? And I enjoy the struggle, the road to where I'm at now, and looking mm-hmm. forward to the future. So, in a in a perfect world, I would entertain it mainly just to go back to just relive some of the the those times. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To really just enjoy Goodness. those moments, but. I wouldn't change a damn thing because it's like, nah, I'm 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 good. Well, maybe one. This nigga don't know what he wanna do. The only one I talked about is the Super Bowl thing. I don't know what type of effect that would have if I went to the Super Bowl and performed. <laughs> Who knows? The whole but that would probably is be off. yeah, the whole timeline is <clears> fucked <throat> up. But that would be the one thing I can I can easily say. And outside um, of that, that'd be it. I think I take some winning lottery and go back to that billion dollar uh all right, I ain't gonna do that. Um, yeah, you definitely fuck up things. The timeline will really be that's, fucked that's up. That's the timeline. I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> oh well, nigga, I'm rich. But now, nah, um, <laughs> I think spending time, okay, with certain people. Mm, oh, so family, you would go to members. re uh, re uh, experience? Yeah, like my situation. grandmother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, for my sure. Grandmother, grandmother is just um, yeah. You know, getting more time. But would you change asking anything? more questions? I wouldn't change nothing. I would just okay. soak up more knowledge. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like from my elders. Mm, just, okay. I would soak up way more. They'd be like, damn, little one, you you real attentive all of a sudden. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Or just to just to be around them again. Yeah, yeah. You know, nah. just to just to relive them being here. Yeah, no, nah, that would, I would be. I would do that over and over and over. For sure. For sure. You know, just having certain people. Yep. People of that you lost, mm-hmm. you know, just you know? I was gonna say the same thing. Uh, I, I change. I wouldn't say change because I wouldn't change yeah, anything. Yeah, certainly. But to, I would love to be able to meet my dad mm. and to know who he is and try to see if there's any traits in me that relate to him or mm. if there was any knowledge I could have got from him. <clears throat> and to have mm-hmm. that father figure around my whole life and have that because mm-hmm. I never had a chance to meet my dad, right. so I didn't even know what he looked like. I didn't know what color his eyes was nothing. So right. It would have been great to have that. See experience. how that would have shaped you. Yeah, as a, 
It would have shaped me as a kid and adult now. So basically, all our time travel experiences will be boring. <laughs> That's literally what it is: boring and hey, normal. Because it's I know, not boring. Because it's definitely well for us. It's not boring. Heartfelt. But yeah, for you know, I know some niggas would turn into true villains. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not some niggas. You give them that power. Of oh, it's over. All you women that hit me up after high school <laughs> saying that I would have see it. What's up? <laughs> You gonna go in the future. You gonna be a deadbeat mom. You gonna be a deadbeat dad. You about to have multiple kids. You gonna be fat and ugly. All this, just breaking niggas' futures. Yeah, if I go back to high school and then I see, I'm like, girl, I would, girl, relax, calm down. You cute now. Just give it about a couple yeah. more years. Yeah. You're gonna be hitting me up on Instagram. What's Instagram? Don't worry about it. You'll find out. <laughs> I, I'm gonna invent it actually. I'm gonna, talk to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put some type of uh, stake in the Instagram. <laughs> All my little money I got just so that way it can it pop off and uh, become rich early. But now, nah, um, a lot of times, questions like that, those are cool fantasy type questions. Um, but again, it just depends on mm -hmm. your life. You gotta realize things are happening in real time mm -hmm. uh, for a reason. And mm -hmm. you have free will for those things. Like yeah. it's not just you and your luck. A lot of times it's things that you could have done. It's always oh, something boy. that you could have done better. Oh um, boy. And I do want to end it on that. Like I read this uh, this article before mm -hmm. and it was a guy that would go to, and I'm probably mentioned on the pod before, but he would go to the old folks homes and he would go to old folks homes and hospices and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And he would interview uh, the people and ask them like a series of questions about life and did they have any regrets? Yeah. What would they have done different? 90% of the time, man, people said they would have spent more time with family, mm -hmm. friends, laughing, mm -hmm. and enjoying. Like that's 90% of what people said, mm -hmm. you know, and too many people regretted working too much. Yeah. Too many people regretted stressing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Because when you in that bed, you realize like all that doesn't matter. And it's like, I really wish we could get that without it being a bad news or we're in that situation. I wish we really could get that in real time because a lot of this stuff don't matter. Mm -hmm. And and it's like more of the things that don't matter is being glamorized mm -hmm. and thrown in our face and making us think it matters so much to where we're losing track of time because mm -hmm. we're so focused on things that don't matter where mm -hmm. time is just passing us by mm -hmm. you know i mean i was just telling nisha that like i was posting a picture of my son for his birthday <clears throat> and i had looked at the picture i had took of him just just like two months ago um, and his face to me looked completely, completely different, different. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and more mature just from that picture from the beginning of the football season and i'm like wow like look and i just looked at him and i know my kids sometimes be looking at me like man what is this <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. dad you good but you look at them and you like, man, it's, it's only been and you already look like you've changed. Mm -hmm. But that's just time. You know, when you when you so busy trying to become rich, what people say, I'm so busy trying to get this girl. I'm so busy trying to get this this house. I'm mm -hmm. so busy trying to get this dream car. And I, I want to focus on this thing. I want my car to look the best. I want to be the fly. It's like, bro, that in the end of the day, when you get to that age, if, you know, God willing, you realize, bro, none of that matters. It does not. Like, none of that matters. It's the, the memories that you had with certain people. Mm -hmm. Just like you said about reliving things, like just memories, mm -hmm. thoughts. But that's why people, when they say that, you don't want, like, it's like, at the end of the day, you can have the most money. Because people always go, like, oh, I wish I could take back or get a million dollars. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if you die today, that a million dollars will still be here. It don't even matter. It don't matter. Because at the end of the day, you're going to lose it all <laughs> behind. So at the end of the day, you got to mm -hmm. take advantage of life yeah. and yeah. living and people and love and family. Relationships and, yeah. Yeah. I want to I want to invest more into um the things that matter. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. things that don't. Like and if, that's something you can change and yeah. do now. Like I know mm -hmm. we be focused on being ghosted and all this other shit that people want you to care about. But bro, just think about it. You woke up this morning. Yes. Know, and that's one of the biggest things you can do. From Facts. there, you shape what you can only control what happens in your bubble for those 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Can't worry about tomorrow. Can't worry about the day after that next week. I know we always plan and stuff and we mm -hmm. stress, but that's why I'm starting to learn how to stress less, invest more in the things that's more important. There you go. And I hope people 
uh, take that away, even with some of the questions in the uh, Discord. But for sure, for sure. Man, this was a deep one. It was. Pretty very good. Grady, no homo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to say no homo. We didn't do the pause thing. Well, you know, that's a New York thing. So. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah, that's a New York thing. That's he's kinda, he's starting to do that now. Like, it's caught on crazy. everywhere. Really? Yeah. 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 Pause? Yeah, that caught on oh. everywhere. Everywhere. But we used to be like, no homo. Yeah. But, but I, don't know if that's I like think offensive, saying though. that like now that would like be offensive. That would be definitely yeah. Because what's wrong with being homo? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that would okay, be offensive. I get it now. They probably, so that's it's probably the same why thing with pause, it. but yeah. it just yeah. it doesn't say no. Yeah. Why would you say that? It's just not offending people. <laughs> so hey, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> no homo. But um, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for the last episode of the ITC podcast. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah. That's, we got to come up with a different word. That's how, that's how we I don't want to use pause. Out. I want to use a different word. Well, you definitely got to find a whole different word. Yeah. Because <laughs> pause is like... Don't go. Whatever. I don't know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't go. I don't know. No, that sound kind of... <laughs> don't go. What's another word? I don't bro? know, but it's definitely not the H word. Let's, let's not do this, man. Let's leave it alone, guys. Yeah, Thank yeah, y'all. We're going to figure it out Thank behind, somebody, the, behind the scenes. It's not that serious. Not somebody here. put it in the comments. It's not that serious, man. There's more to life than figuring out what other words to say, not than no, no homo. So we're just going to leave it alone. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it up here, bro. I'm going to figure it out, bro. Let it go. This is the Hot to See Podcast, man.